Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at Darcy's Law. Okay, so, we know from the previous video that flow through a sample of soil is due to change in head, right? So say we have these two samples. Let's make this one have big particles and this one have smaller particles. Okay, so let's say the length of both these samples is L, right? So the flow of the water through these particles, the speed at which it flows at is going to be dependent on the change in head. So we know that change in head causes flow as well as the actual soil particles themselves. You see, it's going to, it's going to be a lot quicker for soil to flow through bigger particles right whereas when you have a more condensed sample with smaller particles it's going to take longer for the water to find its way through okay so we can say that the velocity is equal to k which is a proportionality concept which we're going to define in a second which takes into consideration the uh, different soil samples we have based on their like particle sizes if you want to think about it like that as well as the change in head divided by the change in length okay so, k is equal to the coefficient of proportionality, okay, or it's called, okay, coefficient of proportionality, or it's called the hydraulic uh, conductivity, okay, that's what k is. So, k will depend, k is dependent on the uh, actual soil sample. And DH on DL.